Okay, so that was about the design process, right? We talked about the design process, and at times we focus on the mechanical design, but most of the things that we talked about apply to other engineering disciplines as well. Okay, so moving on, this is chapter three, problem solving, and this is a, this is basically part of the professional practice, technical problem solving, and communication skills. So what we have seen so far under innovation and design is the design process. Under that, system requirements, innovation, and decision making. We talked about that, and now we are over here. Okay, I won't spend a lot of time with the uh, communication skills except to say how you should really write the units and things like that. Okay, so we are over here. This is chapter three, and again, some of these things may be familiar to you, but now you're here, why not pay attention and make sure that if there are any holes in your understanding, uh, you fill them, okay? So the four things, we'll talk about dimension units, conversion and six digits, right? So this is a question actually from last year's midterm exam for this class, okay? So I just put that in over here. And those of you who are using their phone right now, uh, because you're checking your Facebook account, please don't do that, I really hate it. So next time I see somebody doing something that is not allowed, I will, point at you, I'll ask you to get up and leave. Okay, so while you're here, pay attention. You can get out of the class and do whatever you want, but over here, nobody should be distracting anybody. And I hate distractions. I don't want to be distracted, all right? Okay, so this is a question from the last case exam, right? So the question is, the final report for the robot design project asks you to write your report using only SI system of units, okay? And I'll talk about what SI system is. This is just a motivation. A student writes following summary. What you have to do is underline all the mistakes in the summary only from dimensions and units point of view and rewrite the corrected summary, right? So this is the summary that the student wrote. We have designed a walking robot that can walk at a speed of four feet per second, weighs 10 kilogram and can turn at three RPM. The robot powered by two DC motors, each capable of providing a torque of 10.0 watt, can travel for a distance of 20 meter before coming to rest. So when you read the summary, do you see any problems? Do you see any mistakes? Okay, so that's good. There are quite a few who see mistakes in there. Tell me some mistakes. Um, you put weighs 10 kilogram. Okay, so what he's saying is that, you know, weight, kilogram is not a unit of force, weight is a force, so it should be either mass, right, I guess, or it should specify the actual weight in Newtons. Um, ignoring the fact that four feet per second seems like an unreasonable speed, it, uh, it also is an SI units. Right, so forget about the, that's why I said only from the dimensions and units points of view, right? It's not talking about what you think is reasonable or not. Uh, so this is saying in the SI units, but you are providing units in FPS system, which is the USCS system. So that's one problem. Over here, 20 meters. Yeah. yeah. So actually, you're right. It's it's not a strictly a grammatical error. It is not a strictly a gr grammatical error because it's a plural. So you can write meters. You should write meters. So it's not just grammatical. It's also an error from unit point of view. All right. Any anybody else? What is not a unit of torque, right? What is not a unit of, what is a unit of? Power. power, right? It's not a unit of torque, so that's wrong. Um, he has a different amount of sig figs for where he says torque, like he puts 10.0, he right. doesn't have a point zero anywhere else or anything else. Well, that's okay, right? Because, you know, you could have three sig digits, and, and again, if you don't understand all these things right now, it's okay. This is just a motivation. I'm going to talk about the details. This has three sig digits, but the rest of the things don't have, you know, three sig digits, looks like. But that's all right. You know, you could have the torque actually compared to three sig digits. RPM is not the SI unit. RPM is not an SI unit. Right, so RPM, well, you, you're, you're partially right in the sense that, you know, it's not that RPM is not in the SI unit, RPM is not a correct abbreviation to use. That's the problem, okay? So you can make up your own abbreviations. You can make your own short forms. Anybody else? So I think among all of you, all of you, if you're working on this problem together, you will be able to find all the problems with this, right? But I want every one of you to be able to see what the problems are, right? And that's what we'll do. So let's talk about the quantities. Physical quantities in engineering have five things. They have a name. They have a value or a number that you can assign to them, right? They have a dimension, they have a unit, and they have six digits. These are the five things, right? So if I said 
uh, my weight is, uh, let's say, 60 kilogram, right? So weight is the physical quantity, 60 is the number, kilogram is the unit, and dimension is implicit, which is the dimension of mass, right? Well, of course, when I say weight, it's not right, right? I should say mass, but most of the time, we, we say weight, and people understand what we're trying to say. And you have the six digits, right? So I, if I say 60 kilogram, do, how many six digits I have? Two, is it one? Good question, it's ambiguous. So when you say simply 60, the last zero could be significant or may not be, right? So, so those are the five things that you 